Hi everyone! Uh, here's my dragon! <laughs> I made him entirely from scratch and that is what you're going to see today. I'm going to show you how I made him. I'm not a puppet maker, just disclaimer, this is my first ever puppet that I've made. I don't know kind of the professional techniques or anything. I kind of guessed at what I thought was right and I think it's right because he looks, he looks fine. He looks fine. Yeah, this was really an impulse make. I just kind of saw um, a video on Facebook of someone that made a puppet like this and as soon as I realised how they made it, I was like, wow, that's so cool, I'm going to make one. I was going to be making Genos arms from One Punch Man for my next project, but then I just saw this and I was like, nope, let's make a dragon instead. And I did. I did my uh, tutorial a little differently this time. I normally do a proper tutorial, but this is more like kind of me doing updates as I kind of go through. It's, so this is more like a walkthrough and a tutorial, but it'll still be fully effective in letting you know how to make the dragon. So, let's go! <laughs> it's a dragon noise. Hey everyone, so today I've just started kind of planning out my dragon. I'm really excited! <laughs> it took ages and I've drawn out some of the kind of uh, how it's going to go on me and worked out kind of what's going to happen and all the drawing bits and here's some thinking about the head and lists and other such things. Um, so I'm going to try and start making it today and then maybe go out and buy some of the things I need. So yeah. Okay so first update I started on the uh, mouth thing kind of uh, which is this uh, and her hand is in now and it's, it's alright I'm pretty proud of it. I'm, well, it's alright. It's basically just some piece of cardboard which have been covered in duct tape to make them a bit more durable. And then this pink stuff is just an old a last piece of elastic, like a headband, that I've stuck down on it. And yeah, it's going pretty well. I also, instead of just doing two pieces, um, instead of just doing two pieces, there's also a third piece, look like a little rectangle here, um, just because it makes the movement look a bit more kind of natural and jaw-like than just the uh, up and down snapping, <laughs> which I wasn't really. Also, I started on the uh, kind of the back frame. Uh, this is made out of cardboard. It's not actually going to be made out of cardboard. I'm going to make the real thing out of um, EVA foam. Ooh. It's a bit more flexible and uh, durable and just generally better choice. This is where I'm up to now with my dragon. <laughs> Look at him. He's so cute. He's a little bit like a rabbit at the moment. Um, I can't show you him very well. Um, but basically, I just kind of hot glued some pieces of um, the insulation foam together and onto the the base that I made before which is obviously this, his mouth that you can see there. You can see where I kind of sketched out the um, the lines where I put kind of where I wanted to cut and things and then I've used a scalpel and a craft knife and some scissors just to kind of hack him up and make him look a bit more dragony. Even he does that angle. Not so much uh, He's looking a bit more dragony now. I'm giving him a bit more. I need to work on this side a little bit because he looks a bit rabbity from this side. Um, this side's alright. Also, I put some in his eyes. Um, obviously, I just cut some holes in there. And then his eyes are just these like little acrylic jewels. Well, they're not jewel jewels, they're like acrylic stones uh, that I found just at a craft store. They're really cheap and they just go in there. And I'm going to paint them so they've got like the little. Uh, people, the cat like people on there and obviously gonna be glued in. The only thing I did last night was I made his body, which is right here. Um it's the same cardboard um kind of structure that you saw before but I made it out of EVA foam. And then I kind of just hot glued this uh upholstery foam over it and I've carved it all up to make it a body shape and then these kind of lumps <laughs> that are ch chunks that are hacked out here are gonna be his legs, where his legs go at the back. Okay, so I've not had that much time today, um, so I've not done loads, but I have altered the body quite a lot. <laughs> so it's, as you can see, it's a lot bigger than last time. I decided it was just too small. Um, you see this from this line is kind of where it used to be, and I've made it a lot bigger, made it a lot thicker um, at the back, and I've kind of sculpted it with a bit of a curve, um, just so it kind of looks a bit more, a bit more like a body. Okay, so I didn't really do anything yesterday because it's my birthday so obviously doing other stuff but I got back on it today and I've just given in some teeth. Just little pieces of EVA that I cut out and kind of sculpted them a little bit to make them a bit more rounded um, 
and then the hot glued on. He's got here at the bottom, here at the top. See the inside? They look pretty neat inside. I like them. Also, even harder to show. I started a little bit on his legs. I made one of the like wire frames that I'm going to use as the base for his legs. So this is kind of two pieces of wire twisted together. And I'm not very good at working with wire, so there's just a ton of hot glue holding most of the wire together. Okay, we're back, and my dragon has four legs. Four legs. Uh, they're a bit. They look a bit weird at the moment. Um, as you can see, they've kind of got some of these weird, like, sock-looky things on some of them. Um, that's because I'm testing out um, the... His legs are going to be kind of plush, like this. I'm kind of testing out the sizes. This was a more successful size test, and this was a less successful. As you can see, it's very small. They can move really easily and things, so they're going to be really good for kind of positioning him so he looks very natural on my shoulders. The only other thing I've really done is I've put primed his teeth. I've put gesso all over them, basically. Okay, so yesterday I managed to get the fabric that I wanted, which is good, and the main thing I did was uh, cover the body. So the bo this is the body now. It was, as you can see, that stuff before, and it's all been covered in black now, and it's all pinned on over here. It's, I have to hand sew it all down. It's all sewn on around here, and it looks a lot neater, as you can see. <laughs> but a lot of these kind of folds and things are going to be covered by the legs anyway. And it has to be kind of either glued or sewn down on the back. It's, it's sewing down alright, but I think it's going to have to reinforce it with some glue. Because you can't stitch very easily into this insulation foam stuff. See, he has two legs on now. Um, I didn't update earlier because I did this leg first and I didn't really like how it looked. Um, but I did this leg after and I'm a lot happier with it. Uh, it's sewn on a lot neater on the top. And the claws are a lot better. You see, I think they're a bit, a little bit thick on on these ones, and they don't, they're not quite as articulated as I'd like. But these ones are a lot better, and I like them a lot more. So I'm really happy with them now. <laughs> um, so that's basically, what happened? Yep, yeah, I still have the other two to do. You see that I've just kind of sewn like things like this for the legs, and then they're obviously stuffed with a little bit of ugh, pillow stuffing type things, and then hand sewn on around here. And the tubes, they're just <laughs> the tubes. <laughs> the claws are tubes. Uh, they're, they're basically just little tubes that I machine sew up and then kind of slip on stuff and then hand sew around here. Little update my dragon's body is fully completed. He's got legs with claws on both sides. There they are. It looks a bit like a, a chicken at the moment. Uh, and I've also done the same kind of thing to his head. I just did it exactly the same way. It's just. Uh, stretching the fabric over and then kind of pinning it on and um, hand sewing bits down like you can see on top of his head here he's had a bit done and then underneath as well um, yeah I've also used some hot glue on this one though because just because of the shape of his head like under his um, here under here and around his eyes and around his nose just because you can't really sew into this foam because it just rips so easily also, I don't know if I uh, mentioned, I painted his teeth properly. <laughs> you can't really tell, but I painted his teeth um, so they're not just white anymore. They've got like bits of yellow and brown in there. And also, he has some little gums painted in that you can see on some of them. Okay, next bit of progress. Um, as you can see, he has a neck now. It's actually sewn on. Um, I didn't really film any updates or anything about this because it's, it's basically just like a tube. And it's pointed at the end, so oh my god, look at my room how messy it is. Ah! <laughs> it's just like a, a point at the end, so it, it fits on kind of like a sleeve. Um, but other than that, it's just a tube, and that's just all hand sewn on up here and sewn up by the bottom. Um, but yeah, that's what I've done with that. And I've also planned out a little bit of what his head's going to look like, because it's going to have more details on it. Uh, these are like the paper patterns, some of them are going to be red, some of them are going to be black. He's also got going to have some big fins over here that I don't have the pattern for. And I'm putting some scales on him, I've been doing that today. Uh, there they are, you can't, you can't see them that well. There they are. They're just pieces of leather that I just cut out and I'm um, hand sewing on individually, which isn't um, extremely fun. All the black scales are done now, well all, that I can put on. A little, little bit at the tops of both of them so I can join it to my jacket and kind of fill that in and I, I have it all planned up. But yeah, they look good. He has red scales now. Yay, they're really messy here. 
because I don't store things very well. But look! My red fabric came and he's got black on the top or red on the bottom. Yay! Okay, they're just painting up all those kind of fins that are going to be on his face. They're all cut out of craft foam. Uh, and I was going to cover them in fabric but I decided to paint them instead. Yeah, I've put all this in, all these um, fins on with the base colour and everything's been glued and I've also glued, oh god, great angle, <laughs> some wire behind the fins so they stand up a little bit better. And on the other side, I've also started painting them. So you said before, and this is after I painted them. Um, yeah, this is, the base is red as you saw, but then it's got yellow and black in the middle and then a little bit of white um, in the centre of these. It looks a lot better in real life, it looks really weird on camera for some reason. Uh, but yeah, so we're at now. Excuse the lighting because this room's quite small and dark. But these are um, the arms that have been sewn on. Obviously, these are fake arms at the front. And my real arms go in the dragon so that it looks like, um, yeah, it's a real, real life dragon. But yeah, it's basically just I took the sleeves off completely and sewed on the dragon head and tail onto the bit where the sleeves were. And then kind of cut the sleeves down the middle and then just kind of crudely sewed them on in a way that made them sit uh, naturally. That's, that's a terrible shot but his back is secured on, it's not sewn down yet but it has been positioned on the back of the jacket. The jacket has these like um, hooks kind of on the collar fortunately and I've just sewn a little strip joining it to that and then I'm going to do some hand sewing just to attach it a bit more securely. Uh, so it's pretty much finished now and I did loads of stuff and didn't update because it was really stressful and I kept doing everything wrong. Um, but you're probably thinking hey that arm looks rubbish it looked really good before and now it looks rubbish why is that and it's because it looks when it looks good on the mannequin it doesn't look good actually on me. Like it was joins to the dragon here so like when I'd lift my arm up the whole thing would lift up and it would make me look really boxy and it's hilarious in a bad way. Um, so I fix it now and it looks really awful on the mannequin but it looks a whole lot better when it's actually on me and he's got gloves! Wow! And so he's back and you can actually see it today which is incredible. Um, so basically what I've done since last update I've sewed on all the back and the claws, uh, and they all stayed on for ages, so it's good. Um, I also, you might have noticed in the video, like the body and the arms were really like looked really disjointed and like completely different things. Uh, so I sewed just pieces of black fabric over them to join the neck to this, make it look a lot more flowing. And then I cut out a ton more spikes and sewed them all on uh, spikes scales. So. Everything flows a lot better now, and he's also got a big red flash of spikes on his back, which I like. I like them. So here's the close-up of um, his head. I think I think you've seen these before, how I painted the kind of craft firm and stuff, and gave him his little chin bit. Uh, yeah, I've, that's the same on both sides. Down, he's got his eyebrows on, but I didn't show you that before. And it's got these little glass beads inside which I painted a little pupil on. I'm not overly happy with them, um, but I think in the future I will learn how to do that better. He's also got his nose painted, um, his nose holes, nostrils, and he, I also just today painted his, the inside of his mouth. It looks really bad on camera. I swear it looks a lot better in real life. Last night I also, before he kind of has had this like blunt line of scales that just completely stopped here. So I kind of I did some more scales to fade it up and then I gave him a little red stripe down his face which I think he suits rather well. I haven't been able to film any kind of updates of me actually um, wearing him because I have two hands in the dragon when I wear him and um, I can't really hold a camera very easily. But I will show some clips though. So that's my dragon tutorial on how I made Vulcan here. Um, I'm pretty happy with him. I like how it turned out. As I say, I'm not a professional puppet maker at all. I don't know any of the professional techniques. 
these just are ones that I kind of used and found that they work. I'm not sure if I really like this kind of walkthrough style that I did, did this video in. I think I prefer a tutorial style, but you know, just let me know what you think and I'll keep doing that in the future. Thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it and I really hope it's useful for you. As always I have all my social media links in the description, I have Instagram, Cosplay Me Now, Facebook, Tumblr and other things. Um, where I've been posting loads of progress pictures as I've made him here. Do you know how hard it is to turn off a camera with a, a dragon tail on your hand? Make one of these dragons and find out for yourself.